It's a, it's a hard walk. Watch those red shoes. Okay, I'm going to sing a song for you in the style of Marilyn Monroe, If She Were French. Oh, yes! Oh. Yes! Yes! Yes, very good. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Annie. <laughs> celebratory and all that, but what you all do not know, that there's a movement afoot to prevent me from speaking. <laughs> Why? Why? Because Why? in the professions of actors and musicians, there are a whole lot of people who know, to, know a fixed abode. What can they offer in the way of advice, philosophy, criticism, music? What kind of folks are they? Suburban rubbish is the answer. <laughs> Well, I'm part of the suburban rubbish presently inhabiting Portland. Which, I have to say, has turned out to be a little bit of a disappointment in spite of enormous pleasures. What kind of disappointment? Well, this city is under the propulsion of a surface of adjectives. <laughs> there is a, there's a, a quantity of adjectives let loose free for conversation which defies understanding. You join a party of people who are talking and you hear the words like frequent, red, ebullient, come standing. It's a, where's the noun? What are they, what are they talking about? <laughs> so, when people say, we're coming to see you in your area of the United States, what do we bring you? What can we bring you? We bring some leather goods, a new comb, something like that. No, bring me a bag of nouns. <laughs> and I will distribute them. <laughs> now you see how absolutely lacking in value all these adverbial clauses of mine really are. Yeah. I've never tried this kind of speech before. I've never had a willing and slightly inebriated audience. <laughs> and it's a great pleasure to have it. But there's the impression that Quite a lot of I say is fueled by alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like a, sounds like a member of my family. <laughs> so if I th if I think it over, well I I'll tell you the story of how how bad it can be. Missy and I were in Dublin, and we had learned I had learned that the best Guinness is only to be had. The closer you get to the brewery. The closer to the brewery, the better the quality of the drink. Yes. So I walked down Dublin High Street one morning and I saw a man and he said, Greetings, sir. And I said, Greetings. I'm looking here, I said, for the best pint of Guinness. Sir, listen to me. Take this road down there at 100 points, turn right. When you turn right, there's a Barclays Bank and you turn left there. And then there's a ladies' underwear shop, pass that by, and then go along to a restaurant called The Goose. And then there's a pub called The Fox and Antler, he said. The Fox and Antler. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So certain aspects of life just sort of kick me in the teeth. I'm never quite sure whether I'm going to be, whether it's going to be successful or not. But I have to say that the charms of Mitzi outdo all those disappointments. When I think of Mitzi, the first time I saw her, and it is true that I used the wrong pronoun. <laughs> I could have done better, but I was, I was feeling very moved at that point. And as for getting up and going pretending to go to look for pudding and coming back and kissing her, well, it's a bit more tense than that because I said to myself at that night, at that time, at that place, if I do not kiss this woman tonight, here, now, I will regret it for the rest of my life. Aww. And that is as romantic a sort of a statement I am personally capable of. <laughs> that you realise that I'm really not in command of the English language <laughs> and I'd better get out of the way soon. I have to say I adore you all. Aww. And we adore you. Uh, what? Keep out of it, it's still my moment. <laughs> kind of in, in the fields that keeps happening. What are you trying to say? Go home? Go back to England? Go, go back to the Queen? She sent a message and it's there. She worked more as well from you back in England. Oh dear, <laughs> what thought. So, but, but for achievement in, in Portland, I'm pretty damn happy to have been and to have met and to love, to have loved especially. And I look forward to lots more. Lots of people here are extremely cooperative and some are more temperative. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm prepared to put up with it. I think I've said enough. Uh, Can we all sing hands for a few minutes?